Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. Today I'm going to show you how to perform what if analysis. Basically this is a method that allows you to input a parameter and see how it affects a calculation. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at our data real quick. Um, taking a look at the sales table, we see we have sales amount and order date. We're going to throw this into a basic line chart. So let's take sales amount and we'll throw an order date in the axis and get rid of the hierarchy. Um, awesome. So let's go ahead and try to set up what if analysis to be able to change our sales goal. And we will make that sales goal based on last year's sales. So let's make a measure to calculate last year's sales. And we will go ahead and create a measure table as always. We'll call this measure table and just throw in something, something here. So load that, and once that's loaded, we'll create a measure on that table. This measure will be called last year's sales. And it's just going to be a calculate sum of sales amount. And the filter we're going to pass in, so we're going to pass in the date add function. Uh, we are going to add to the order date negative 12 months as in we're going to subtract 12 months from that date and that will give us the sales 12 months ago one year ago so close off the calculate and let's go ahead and throw last year sales onto the graph you can see that this only starts in january 2012 because uh, any time before that did not have a prior year um, value so let's go ahead and throw in a slicer and we'll slice based on order date uh, let's just kind of bring it up a little bit. We'll put it somewhere like right there. So, so you see the black line is last year's sales and the green line is this year's sales. So you can see we're doing worse this year in a lot of places than we were last year. So that's how we're actually going to show this, uh, this goal. The way we're going to start using what if analysis is become the modeling and new parameter. And it comes up with a what if parameter. We are going to call this, um, this parameter sales percent increase. We're going to make it a decimal number. The minimum is going to be one and the maximum is going to be two, meaning if the sales percent increase is a one, that's 0% uh, larger than last year's. Two would be 100% larger than last year's. We're going to increment by 0 0.01 and let's say the default is 1.1, a 10% increase over last year's sales. And by default, this add slicer to this page is checked. Well, let's go ahead and click OK. And first of all, we see the slicer right here with the sales percent increase that we can increase as we want. So putting it on 1.15 would be basically last year's sales times 1.15, which would be a 15% increase. Uh, we can see that the what if analysis created this table uh, in our data model. And it has, well, I'll just show you the table sales percent increase. It's basically just a series from our minimum value to our maximum value. So from one to two. Awesome. And it also created this measure and it's basically just takes the selected value of this slicer selection. So all we have to do uh, left is to create one more measure and we will call this goal. And it's just last year sales times our sales percent increase. That gives us our goal. Let's take away our last year sales off of this graph and we'll throw on goal. Oh, sorry. We will throw on goal. There we go. And we see this black, uh, this green line now is the goal. I'm going to change the colors just to make this a little more apparent. So the goal is going to be our red line and the sales amount will make black still. So our goal, if we're looking for a 15% increase, is this red line. Let's make this a little bit smaller so we don't have to look at so much data. But you can change this using the what if parameter to maybe we want a smaller goal that's a little more realistic. Let's set it at 5% uh, increase. And you see how that goal totally changes. Or if we wanted a bigger goal, everything shifts down and you now have a $51,000 goal as of that date. Let's look at this date again for 9-21-2012. It's right now 51,000. Let's say we wanted a 30% increase. 
that goal increased to 55,000. So it's a really cool way in which you can actually input parameters and be able to uh, really add a lot of flexibility to your report. So go ahead and give this a try. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.